Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heart strings are pulling like the tide And the match that drew a spark was a single story Hi everyone, I'm Marie from Southern Country Living and I hope everyone is having a great day today. The weather here is hot but it's really pretty outside today. And today I'm going to be making this crumbled key lime pie cookie and this is a copycat recipe. And I think that um, if you make it you'll really enjoy it. Calvin, he loves key lime pie, and I've already made one, uh, and we have a video of it. And so Kevin will link, leave the link down below if you want to also make that. The crumble cookies, they're real popular, and we don't have a store around us anywhere. And the closest one we have is down towards Atlanta. And so when we get a chance, we're going to uh, make a trip there. And uh, I've been wanting to try the key lime uh, cookie. And uh, so that'll give us a chance when we go down there to uh, try their cookies. And uh, we'll probably do a video on it. So let me get started on my recipe. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is cream my butter. And the next thing I'm going to do is put in my granulated sugar and my brown sugar. And uh, this recipe will be in the description box below. Okay. I'm going to scrape down the sides. Okay, I'm going to cream in a little bit more. Now then I'm going to add in my eggs. This is two eggs. And my vanilla. Now then I'm going to add in my dry ingredients. I'm going to start with my flour. Then I'm going to add in my um, soda. My bacon powder. And 
and my salt. So I'm going to mix this up a little bit. Now then I'm going to add in a little bit of a graham cracker crumbs. And a little bit more flour. So I'm going to add in the rest of the cracker crumbs. And the rest of the flour. Okay, I'm going to scrape it down one more time. Okay, my cookie dough is um, ready now, so I'm going to get over here and uh, make my cookies. Okay, I'm using a half cup measuring for each cookie. These are supposed to be pretty big cookies. <laughs> Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow. And the late summer sky is like a giant. I have my cookies on my cookie sheet now and so I'm going to cook them at 350 degrees for approximately 12 to 15 minutes but I'm going to keep an eye on them because of my oven. Okay my cookies are out of the oven now so I'm going to make an indention in them to put my icing. Hi, 
everyone I'm back and my cookies have cooled off now this first batch right here um, I used a half a cup of uh, batter in it and these turned out uh, a little bit larger than I wanted them to and so I used less in my uh, second batch and uh, I think they turned out a lot better and so now let me get started on my icing okay I'm gonna put in my um, cream cheese okay so I'm gonna blend these up Okay, the next thing I'm going to do um, is put in my Eagle Brand milk. Okay, I got that in now, and I'm going to blend it. Now then I'm going to put in my powdered sugar and a little of this lime juice and then I'm going to beat it up and then when I'll, if I need to I might add the rest of this uh, lime juice. Okay, now I'm going to taste my icing to see if I need any more lime juice in it. Okay, I'm not going to add the rest of the lime juice in, and so now I'm going to uh, ice my cookies. So now I'm going to get one out and do the taste test. Get this huge one out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the taste test now. Mmm. Mmm, that 
was really good. <laughs> it's real good and chewy. Mm. And you can taste that lime flavor. I think I need a second opinion though. Really, are these supposed to be put in the refrigerator and cooled? Yes, they are. So they're probably better if they cool down, right? Right. You can tell tell me if you think that has enough lime in lime juice in it also. Oh yes, that's very good. It's very chewy in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the icing's perfect on it. Mm-hmm. Cookie's good too. The only thing I would have done different is like I said, I would use less um, cookie batter in this first batch. And I think that's about all. Do you know of any improvements, Calvin, that you would have done? That would be the only thing I'd say is make them just a little bit smaller, like your second batch turned out. Mm -hmm. They look real good and they're the perfect size. And since we've never actually had one of these, we don't know what they're supposed to taste like. Mm -mm. But they are very delicious. Uh, hopefully we can make a trip down to the uh, Crumble store mm -hmm. pretty soon. And we'll buy one of these and try theirs and see how it compares. Yep, they have uh, different cookies on different days. So we'll have to go on the day they have the key lime. <laughs> yeah, they don't have them this week. So we'll have to check back next week because they, they only make certain cookies each week. And I think this will be even better after that, this icing firms up in the refrigerator. Yeah, it needs to cool down. You did a great job on these, Marie. I'm very impressed, to be honest with you. Uh, the, they look exactly like the pictures that I've seen of them. So I think you did a very good job. Yeah, I think mine are just a little bit bigger, though. But that was because of the recipe. If I had went with another recipe, they said just use one-fourth of the cookie dough so that's what that's what I would have done different and I think that's the only thing so these are really good and so I'm going to close out the um, video today and I'm going to be probably doing more of the uh, crumble cookies but I just wanted to try these for the first time because Calvin he really loves key lime pie and I thought he would even enjoy key lime cookies so it was a hit with Calvin, and so I guess I'm going to close our video out now. So go do what you love and love what you do, and we'll see y'all on the next video. Bye. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you